everyone. Welcome to Storytime in Sea Cliff. We have a very funny book called Bunny Cakes. Uh, let's find out. Yeah, Max. It's about Max the bunny. We've read other stories about him. Um, it was Grandma's birthday, and Max had made her an earthworm birthday cake. No, Max, said Max's sister Ruby. We're going to make Grandma an angel surprise cake with raspberry fluff filling. Max wanted to help. Don't touch anything, Max said uh, Ruby, but it was too late. Splat, the eggs fell to the ground and splattered all about. Ruth sent Max to the store with a list that said eggs, E-G-G-S. Max wanted marshmallow squirters for his earthworm cake. So he wrote red hot mush marshmallow squirters on the list. But the thing is, he really didn't know how to write or to read. Uh, so that's what it looked like. The grocer could not read Max's writing. Eggs, said the grocer, uh, and he gave Max the eggs. Max brought the eggs home to Ruby don't bump the table, Max, said Ruby. But it was too late. Ruby sent Max back to the store with a list that said M-I-L-K, milk, because that's what he had spilled. This time, Max wrote red hot marshmallow squirters in a different way. Oh, Max hoped and hoped for his squirters, but the grocer still couldn't read Max's writing. Milk, said the grocer, and he gave Max milk. Max brought the milk home to Ruby. There's a yellow line on the floor, Max, said Ruby. Do not step over the line. But Max stepped over the line and over went the flour all over the floor. Ruby got out her pencil and wrote F-L-O-U-R, flour. This time, Max wrote, red hot marshmallow squirters in the most beautiful writing he knew. Max could almost taste the marshmallow squirters now. Flour, said the grocer, and he gave Max a sack of flour. When Max got home, there was a sign on the kitchen door. Max, the kitchen is no place for you. That was written by Ruby. Ruby finished up her cake and she baked it and she cooked it and she iced it and she put rosemary fluff frosting on it. It needs something else, Max, said Ruby. Let's think, birthday candles, silver star, sugar hearts, buttercream roses, wrote Ruby. Meanwhile, Max had a new idea, a brand new idea. Birthday candles, silver star, sugar hearts, buttercream roses. Yeah, looks good. That's all that Ruby wrote. But he wrote at the bottom, no words. He drew a picture of red hot marshmallow squirters on the list that Ruby had written. And he ran to the grocer as fast as he could. He could not wait. Okay, the grocer said, birthday candles, silver stars, sugar hearts, buttercream roses. Hmm, what's this, the grocer said. He looked at the picture that Max had drawn, and he said, why? It must be red hot marshmallow squirters. Well, Ruby's cake looked beautiful. Max went out to the backyard, and he put the caterpillar icing on his earthworm cake. And Grandma was so thrilled, she didn't know which cake to eat first. And there they are, the marshmallow squirters. Oh, whoa. Which do you think she ate first? I wonder. <laughs> Very good. Great story. And um, we have a birthday today. We have Riley's birthday. We're going to sing to Riley. We saw Riley the other day at the bike parade. Mm -hmm. All right. So these are the votes the children have gotten in. All right, for Vanilla, we have Frida, Lulu, Maxine, Marlo, Hudson, Graham, Audrey, and Lila, 
Marta, Harris, Maya, Joseph, Christopher, Teddy, Wesley, Rocky, Henry, Rafa, Scarlett, and KJ. Mm -hmm. All for vanilla. Now our chocolate, we have Molly and Alice and Jolene. We have Martha and Clara. We have James and Anna. We have Ben and B. We have Bevy and Riley and Tate and Sophia, India, Eliza, Peggy, and Angelica, plus Julian. 21 for chocolate, 19 for vanilla. Okay, it's a chocolate cake for Riley. All right, Riley, let's get it going here. Mm, there we are. All right, ready everybody? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Riley. Happy birthday to you. All right, thank you, Cameraman Dan. Thank you, Oberon. And remember, I love you all very, very much.